Hey, Onion! You arrived at the perfect time. I am just booting up the game. THQ doesn't exist anymore. Onion, do you by any chance have a friend named Ginger? <laughs> that was almost a joke. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Okay, it's it's gonna be loud when we start here. Uh, there's gonna be lots of military yelling, so I will be back once people uh, shut up a little bit, let's say. I should... This is pretty much useless, but I want to go up here anyway. I don't think the military are going to bum rush me from upstairs. Eh? There we go. Sneak, sneak, sneak. We have a box full of ammo that I can't use yet. <laughs> and I'm over in, over in bird encumbered. So that was entirely useless, but hey, there we go. Uh, 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 certainly they won't come after me. Thanks for not shooting, though. Oh, sneaky bugger. I always find it weird how in games, like, encoded military and police communication are just freely available to the player at all times, basically without restriction or explanation. It's always, it always seems a little weird to me. Like, they're not just... Why am I getting into this? Basically, I don't know what I'm talking about, so don't worry about it. Uh, I really want more armor-piercing ammo. Should be some in here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, empty it out, and put all the stuff I don't want back. And I'm still overweight. Let do? No. I gotta stop taking everything that isn't nailed down. Okay, I'll catch up with Chad in just a moment. I'm still getting my bearings here. A little more zonked out from that nap than I thought. This guy... What's weird is the rocket launcher spawns up here, but the bandit doesn't spawn until the military raid. You did get me Origins. I might need to check out. These guys... Oh, is there any chance I could just... Just kinda... <laughs> get in position. Then pick up the rocket launcher. 
Now what kind of mischief can we do with this? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, guys? Pop your heads up. I got a surprise. I got a gift. I made it just for you. It goes... Just like that. Sorry, I might not have a whole lot to say tonight. This may be a more gameplay focused stream. <laughs> Double agent. Oh, hey, buddy. Sorry, I lied. I'm not your buddy. Bethesda syndrome. I swear, I am trying to catch up with chat. Just also not while standing stock still and getting shot to death. Divine Cybermancy, there's another game that you play. Lots of gun shoot. Uh, I mean, uh, what are you gonna miss in Christ? It's just a lot of shooting. It's all it all kind of blends together after a while. So if you want to watch this or watch the VOD. It's all up to you. Oof. Well, that is some accuracy right there. I know. I'll run into the swamp. <laughs> I make jokes? Huh, when did that happen? Gosh, I really forgot how restrictive the weight is in the vanilla game. I'm only carrying, like, enough medical supplies for an entire platoon. Uh, 300 rounds of ammo, like, 20 radioactive artifacts. Can't believe just that little bit is weighing me down so much. Unfortunately, right now I'm really... So we're really self-conscious about my Russian accent, so I haven't... <laughs> I'm not busting it out nearly as much. Oh, I know these guys. Where's the... Here's the pipe. Great. <laughs> More stuff I didn't need. Ah, oh, it even takes slow walk over nothing. A Gauss rifle on sale for 800 rubles? Wow. That seems like such a good deal. How could I say no? 
I just have to wait here and he's gonna deliver the best gun in the game to me. Oh. Oh, um... Listen to me carefully, sucker. Have you heard the story of Robin Hood? Well, your money went to feed the poor. Forget about it. Try sticking your nose here again, and you'll be crawling back to your mommy. <laughs> Crawling back to your mommy. So that's kind of cute. They just scam you. Now I gotta plug my phone back in again. I don't know what's draining the battery so much, but it's just dying left and right. It's almost like I need to buy a new phone. Ugh. <laughs> Let the poor eat lead. I thought, now, I can't remember for sure. Can I walk in here, or are they gonna aggro? Oh yeah, okay. I'm sorry! Let's be friends! Come on. Friendship. Here. H have a friend grenade. For friends only. Has everyone calmed down a little bit? My goodness, that pistol almost feels more accurate than my main rifle. Anyway, um... <laughs> the whole point of that was just to test if they get angry. I don't necessarily want to fight these guys. Oh, heck, for all we know, they sent out an update to make phone batteries last half as long. Because, you know, like, corporations, they don't need regulation of any kind. They should be able to screw us in whatever way they desire. Might be a little bit of fun I can have with these gates, because they are physics enabled. I think they're the only ones in the game. Yep. <laughs> Minus one. Oh, come on. Well, this one's this one's a little tougher, isn't it? If only I had a weapon with 10,000 hit impulse, I could knock that thing clean off its hinges. Welcome back to the early game, everyone. I mean, technically we could have fought through the military blockade and gone straight back to the bar, but there's a few interesting hey, things to do here one. still. It's great to see you alive and even had time to stop by. Come inside. There's something interesting coming up that I want to talk to you about. Oh, unfortunately my timing on this... Oh, it's not too bad, I guess. But this fucker's still stuck between zones. Trapped in the zone. I wonder if he's... maybe he is coming into the Dark Valley. Maybe in a week he'll have taken five steps and will be visible from the level transition. One can only hope. So this is interesting because it's kind of an opportunity to go back and uh, tackle... I want to say a dungeon. It's, it's almost like a dungeon. Ooh. Trigger discipline. Once again, not very good in this stream. Um, but yeah, you get to tackle this this compound again. But you are much more well stocked this time. The bandits still have their same old rusty shotguns and vodka Makarovs. Let's see how things turn out this time. Watch me get killed. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, accuracy. 
please. Can't wait to get a G36. <laughs> this guy. I like him. He does good work. Uh, sticking himself in fireplaces. <laughs> no, not the auto zone, onion. Oh no. The worst part is I know exactly what commercial you're referencing. Oh, just for little funsies. Let's take off the scope. Look, look at that bounce. Boing. That, my friends, is the fun of having a grenade launcher on your AK. Got that bounce. Hey guys, how goes the scouting mission? Got any uh Quiet down man, let me fill you in. Got any new information for me? Alright, see ya. They may be stuck in an infinite loop, never to again leave that spot, but at least they're not dead. And that's all I can really do in this world is <laughs> try to kill as few people as possible. Not doing a very good job of that. So I'd really prefer if it was closer to midnight right now. Though, four hours... How long is an in-game minute? Looks like about ten seconds. Ugh, it'd be a lot of waiting to wait till night time. Dog. Well, if you're following me, you should at least want pets. Don't follow unless you want pets. Uh, I don't care about either of these stashes, I don't think. Uh, I'll deal with you in a minute, Frantic. So there's, there's a few things that have changed here. Wolf is no longer watching over the rookie camp. And... That's, that's really the biggest change. Let's talk to Sidorovich. He's got a special mission for us. Go then. He wants me to recover the box from the military outpost in this area. Um, the one that's full of like, I don't know, 20 soldiers and uh, Spetsnaz at the same time? It's a little... Did I not make... Shush. I don't care about your shit. I got some jobs. Pay me. Yeah, I got a chunk of meat. No. Now he wants the Night Star. I think I just get a shitty suit for that. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's just the tourist suit. This is this is kind of neat. It gives you a little more encumbrance. Well, that gives me a lot more encumbrance actually. 
But, um... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think it's worth that valuable artifact. What is this shit? <laughs> what is this shit? I'd tell you if I knew. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. Not bad. Some... Now that's the way to... I'll get rid of this vodka too. Not... Now that's the way to go. Look at that. I'm almost Go down to stalker. not carrying way too much crap. I'll keep working on it. We'll get there. But for now, this will be a good time-wasting mission. So the rookie camp is under threat from a group of mercenaries. And Frantic here wants our help. Scaring them off, i.e killing every single last one of them. I'm gonna agree to help out, but I'm not gonna follow his plan. Because I know where the mercs spawn, and... it is much easier to just ambush them. I gotta wonder... like... does this future sci-fi world... Does it work on a credit system, or are we literally exchanging coins and paper money here? So, oh, this sucks. Give me my grenades back. So there's our little team, our group of friends. We're gonna blow them up. Pull them up, pop some noggins. Head on over to Baskin Robbins. All oh, while the rookie camp is safe and unmolested. I'm expecting these guys to have like MP7s and other high-tech weaponry, but no, this ain't no mod. He's got dirty, stinky old AKs. I mean, it's freeing not to have uh, 8 billion different guns available to you in the game. Why is my... maybe it's windowed mode, but my uh, conversation ticker, uh, what would you call it? Little chat display you usually get on screen is not popping up for me. What time is it? Oh, it's nine o'clock. Time does the sun go down? Cause it's getting late and that thing is still pretty high in the sky. <laughs> Y'all remember my uh, Call of Cthulhu videos? Yeah, I'm some kind of badass. And the rookies, the babies, our special little children are safe yet again.
It goes down at 11 and rises at 4.30. Yikes. What a long fucking day. Uh, I don't even know, Alex. Um, that's, that's a long time ago now. They might still be archived on Twitch. Maybe I should check out my old, my big old video page and see for sure. Well, this is, even though it's not perfect, this is still probably the best chance I'm gonna get to raid the base. So we're actually just gonna stand here and wait, wait the time out, watch the patrols, try to gather as much intel as we can. Um, now does that, Shima, does that factor in the setting to make it save VODs permanently? Because I thought those would be saved, well, permanently, but maybe not. And also, like, they change things so often, who knows? Who knows? The, the systems I understood from yesteryear have, are completely different now. It could very well be that they just discard these things after a while. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, then maybe they are shedding old VODs. But they're also, then they're also offering um, video uploads to Twitch, which seems to go against the idea of uh, things, you know, being deleted after a while. Okay, the sun's finally going down. I, thought, <laughs> I was gonna say I thought that was a boar corpse. It is. Now, um, as far as I know, they don't have playlists, but that would be a really cool feature to have, extremely useful. So I basically, I have a plan already in how I'm going to get these documents. I climb up this trash heap there. There is an outhouse you can reach hopping from the fence to the outhouse to this roof here. And then you can get into the attic of the shack, and inside that building are where the documents are. Now that part is easy. Getting in there, um, hopping the fence, that won't be too difficult. The tough part is going to be getting out, ideally without being spotted, and without being shotted. But um, we'll just have to see how that goes, because it's not always a guarantee. Uh, that would be a good, good time to grab a snack. Mmm. Oh, I bet the search function on Twitch is masterful too. I'm, I'm so fucking cynical about video hosting platforms because YouTube is such utter garbage. Why do I bother? If only someone helped me. Okay. Thanks for the potted meat, friend. Honestly, like, I, I upload my shit to YouTube, but fuck YouTube. They're awful. They're awful in every way. Oops, well, that's going up on YouTube. Oh, that... I think, I think you're right, Onion. I think if you use the, uh... Let's make a new save. 
Yeah, that's why I have videos from a billion years ago, because I used highlight. And it saves highlights. And you can highlight an entire stream length, too. It's kind of whack. But I guess it works. How are we doing? It's 10, 10, 15. Sun's almost down. I don't know if the camp's asleep yet. We've still got two guards out front. They do, they do, like, change their shift at some point. I just don't want to get too close because then my save will be tainted. There's some weird stuff that goes on with enemy detection and saves in this game. So, the best thing to do to not have your detection status basically hold over when you load a game is to load from an auto save. The second best thing you can do is have a large amount of distance between you and the uh, humans you don't want to be detected by and make your save there. Well, everyone crack open your vodka and take a swig with me. Got to pass the time somehow. Mm. All I need now are some uh, MRE saltines. And this would be perfect little camp out. By the way, you see those? Oh no. Uh. Oh, if you have uh, details, Shima, please do share. I, I might, I like, have a vague idea of how it works, but. Um, any concrete information would be fantastic. Anyway, you see those sticks sticking out of the ground there? Those are landmines. We're not going to have to worry about those too much. <coughs> Damn, I wish I had a suppressor. 10.30. Sun's nearly down. I forget if the announcer goes offline for the night because that might be our indication to move oh yeah that makes perfect sense so for those who aren't watching the chat um, when you load into the game you make a sound a very loud sound before the uh, before everything's like fully loaded in and uh, enemies will hear that and become alerted to your presence. So that's why distance works. Uh, Autosaves work just because they load the entire level completely fresh. And yeah, pointing out the... Um, there's a lot of mods that change sounds. And you'll find that enemies, or even friendlies, will hear those sounds from across the entire level. And so you'll get situations where the rookie camp everyone will suddenly go on alert and start pointing their guns in the same direction, but there's no enemy for miles. They, like, they heard someone click their fire selector um, in the next country over and are just uh, freaking out about it. Oh, we got a few more minutes. Okay, I think when the clock strikes 11, I'm going to make my move. If things don't turn out, I do have a quick save I can jump back to. Okay, so about 40 more seconds. If my calculations were correct. Thankfully, there's no fucking shitty-ass APC watching the road. Unlike in a certain sequel to this game that I might have mentioned earlier. <clears throat> so approaching this is not an immediate death sentence, regardless of time 
stealth, and any other factors. Okay, 11 o'clock, here we go. Yeah, you, uh, you nailed that, Shima. It's a cool thing about these landmines, even if I do step on one, if I'm in a dead sprint, I will get out of the explosion radius before it goes off. So as long as I'm running at full tilt, I got nothing to worry about. Yeah, so the radio operator's operator. <laughs> He's gone offline. Everyone who will sleep is asleep. And as long as I move slow and low, I shouldn't get detected. Well, let's just say, Onion, landmines are a lot more effective if you can't see them. Now... Okay, I'm lucky. <clears throat> okay. That's the easy part done. Mm, if I remember, there's... Oh, there is a portal. Directly down. Sneaky, sneaky. I'll take those. Don't do it. Nada. Nada. Shit! I want to try that again. This is going really well. Um... <laughs> I might have a solution to that. So if I pull out my knife here, I'll have it ready to go in case uh, we need to do any wet work. It's just as an example. Perfectly safe. Nothing to worry about. Just landmines. Don't mind them. Alright, I was going to say, if you don't know the UI, in the bottom left there where my stance uh, icon is, the left meter that's purple is how much sound I'm making. So in this crouch walk, I make almost no sound. It might not show on the video, but there's just a tiny little bit. And the right meter in white is the visibility meter, and that's if enemies can see you. So those are the two most important things for stealth. And really, with some tweaking, the stealth in this game is really good. Uh, the problem is they made footsteps way too loud. And um, there's something else too, but footsteps are the main issue. So you can see when I'm crouch walking, I'm going to have no issues. Is this guy... Are you coming inside again? Yeah, he's coming in. So I might ambush him at the door here. Um, I could also just sneak out. I'm going to try that. Damn it! <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going to stab him next time. No mercy. No sneaking, only creaking. Um, unfortunately, because I am trying to do stealth, there's something in here I can't show off. Uh, it's possible to find in the attic of the building a special leather jacket, it's called, but it has the... 
Really? Really, guys? Maybe they'll forget about me. Hey, Ice Cream Spartan. Alright, so there's a big box of food up here. I think it falls through the floor. Yeah, I'm kind of at the point I'm not giving a fuck. If I can get out of here with the documents, I'll just do that. <clears throat> See what I mean? Like, the stealth, it's its almost there. It almost works. But then some nonsense mucks it up. I wonder if they can lose sight of me and forget that I'm here. And see some of that food fell through the floor. Where is it? There we are. Special leather jacket. Is there, there's two of them now. I mean, sure, I guess so. On, you fuckers! Ah, you little bitch babies. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do a massacre. But unfortunately, you've given me little choice. I'm sorry, I really, I really, really, really want this to fucking work! I'm gonna try one more time. One more time, I promise. Just one. Just the one. Hi, Rosencrantz. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got out too and it, it felt so wrong. Ugh. <sighs> okay, I calmed down a little bit. You know how I said, Nowadays, I tend to uh, just roll with the punches as far as things not turning out the way I want in uh, games you can save abuse. Well, this is one exception. Just because, just because, god damn it, I want it to work so bad. I'm willing to break time and space to make my dreams a reality. I swear, if they go off again for no reason. Oh, uh, me, Spartan? I'm doing pretty good. There are, there are minor issues, but that's, that's just life. I hate you stinky, stinky fat babies. Why you gotta be such stinky fat babies, huh? It's, I bet the sleeping guy saw me. The sleeping guy saw me through the window as I jumped from the outhouse. That's exactly what happened. So anyway, this is an outfit. I, I don't have third person set up, but uh, I'd be in a military suit if you saw me with that on. Hey, Sakura. Well, thanks for coming by. Even if it is for only a short visit.
And the guy sleeping right here was like, Oh, I see through the back of my head. Something's going on. I must set the entire base on alert now. You can see from there it's fatigues. Um... <sighs> Having good mantling mechanics, maybe, Onion. I think, you know, I think the game gets by well enough uh, with... If you just tweak the jump height a bit, so that you can hop over things that you would be able to mantle over. Um... I think the amount of development time to make a proper climbing system in this game, it wouldn't be worth it for the gameplay, and just having the jump be high enough to work would be enough. I'm hoping by hiding in this corner that they'll just walk right past me, but we'll see how that goes. Oh! They're distracted. Probably by mutants. So distracted, they're fucking waiting for me. Okay, let's go. How'd you get out there? Fingers crossed these butt babies don't follow me back to the cordon camp. That's the main reason I want to get out there without triggering an alert, is because sometimes they'll just walk up the road and uh, waste all the rookies. It makes me sad. These are the good babies. I don't want the bad babies to come and bully them. Of mantling mechanics. Did PUBG ever actually implement that? They probably did. Well, yeah. What a trash fire of a game, though. Here's the box. Wow. A whole fucking 2,000 rubles for that bullshit. Clear? I need real stuff. Sidorovich, let's just say you're lucky you're I cannot stuff. physically pull out my gun right now. Hooray, we did it! And I only had to kill three military dudes. Now let's see if they're coming up the road to exact revenge. If so, we might be out here a little longer. But... Oh no, they're... They're busy being upset about something. This is uh, kind of similar to what I mentioned earlier, where everyone's just standing in stock still and pointing their guns at danger. Oh! <laughs> One of the military guys set off their own mine. What's going on out here? Surprise these guys, those landmines are really anemic. They're walking over and not dying. Well, whatever's out there is distracting them. I was gonna say, Sidorovich is kind of a bastard, so it makes sense that he'd cheap out on you. Everyone's favorite fat chicken chomping uh, trader, Sidorovich. Oh, hi, Witchfinder. Well, so we just uh, went through an underground laboratory, escaped a military raid, 
uh, protected the stalker rookie camp from an invasion of mercenaries, uh, stole some military documents, and now we are taking the documents from the secret lab back to the original uh, quest giver who is over in the bar. So that's going to be a little bit of a walk. Thankfully, I am under my encumbrance limit, so I can sprint pretty much indefinitely. Have they... This camp doesn't look repopulated. Oh, hey! Midnight! That means I can easily fix my lack of encumbrance by going over here and grabbing more trash. But no, uh, at midnight, we get artifact spawns. So I just gotta navigate my way through this electricity tunnel. Oh, fucking please. Navigate my way through the electricity tunnel and grab my rewards. There's one. Two. And three. You can get those in the early game, they're really useful, but at this point I've already gotten a moonlight. I really like the idea that certain artifacts only come out at night. You know, I kind of don't like the detector system of the newer games. Maybe I'm just a Shadow of Chernobyl fanboy, because this is the game I played first and the most, and to this day it's still my favorite. But, um... There's something about the detectors that just doesn't quite jive with me. Biggie. I think, no, it's not the detectors actually. The detectors are okay. What I don't like is how they cordon off the anomalies into very specific areas. So when you're, when you're just you know, dawdling around uh, with your hands in your pockets walking down the road, you don't really think about, well, what if there's a gravitational anomaly right in front of me? It's, um, it, instead of having them kind of mesh with the rest of the game, they have them, oh, I'm struggling with my words, but they have them cordoned off into their own private section, and you get this stark delineation between artifact hunting, anomaly avoiding gameplay, and generally exploring and being at risk combat gaming. Gaming gameplay? One of those words. This guy still hasn't moved. Welcome to the portion of the video where you can't see fucking anything. I'll turn on my flashlight so you at least get a little ray of sunshine in there. Puppies, now is not the time. That's right. is here's here's my thing if you're paying attention it's pretty easy to at least be able to tell when anomalies are nearby in this game you've got the heavy base that comes in uh, you've got visual distortions for most of them and you got the detector beeping as well so like I'll admit I've run into my fair share of anomalies just because I'm not taking my time enough, but 
feel like that's kind of the point. Hey, buddies. Yep, you, you go right ahead, I'll just wait. Dark and spooky and thunder and lightning? Isn't it great? <laughs> yes, they are, Sakura. Yes, they are. Oh, is that right? Is that something I want to do? Mm, might not be. Might not be something I care about right now. I do care about this guy. I don't know. It's probably not worth it. I'm just gonna say... Oh well. If he ever leaves his little cocoon between level transitions, I'll definitely seek him out. But until then, I'm just gonna continue on with the game. I think that's one of the missions... Oh no. Oh, son of a... Son of a boar. It's a timed mission. I have five hours left. Uh, and then suddenly the dude here doesn't care about getting his gun back, I guess. The timed missions are really dumb. It's, uh... I, I don't know why they even thought to do that in the first place. Maybe it's related to... the initial design of the game being about having a very strict time limit on you completing the main story. So maybe that kind of leaked over to everything else. <laughs> there you go, Lethal. Five hours his order comes in. Well, if that's the case, I'll take a few minutes diversion to try and nab this. If I can even just get the gun and, like, say fuck turning it in, it's a pretty good gun. I wouldn't mind having it. <laughs> I'm kind of with you on that, Witchfinder. Like, let's take Majora's Mask as an example. The time mechanics are so integral to how that game works, and they're actually, like, really... Uh, amazing in how everything is set up and it, it wouldn't be Majora's Mask without the time mechanics but goddamn if they don't make me like super anxious and kind of just unwilling to play the game because I'm so worried about the clock ticking down it's um I guess what I'd say is my issue with it is entirely on my end that's all me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been watching MGS4 lately and the whole idea of the war economy and now I'm thinking of like IKEA DIY AK building kits. <laughs> 